Getting blue crabs to spawn in captivity is difficult because their natural reproductive cycle is complex and requires very specific conditions. Here's why it's such a challenge. Salinity requirements. Female blue crabs need high salinity water to successfully spawn in captivity, maintaining the right salinity levels and replicating their natural habitat is difficult. In the wild, blue crabs follow a natural migration pattern where females mate in lower salinity waters and then move to higher salinity areas to spawn. Recreating this process in captivity is tricky because it requires controlling their movements and environment at different life stages. Spawning triggers. Blue crabs rely on environmental cues such as water temperature, daylight cycles and tidal movements to spawn. The male crab continues to molt multiple times. During the adult stage, males and females reach sexual maturity. Males, which are also called jimmies, have a T-shaped apron and continue molting throughout life. And of course, they continue to mate, whatever. Females, which are often called sooks, have a rounded apron and stop molting after their final molt.